Hey everybody, on today's agenda is a misguided try on haul. I recently put in an order a couple weeks ago and today I will be sharing things that worked and the many pieces that unfortunately didn't. That's the thing about ordering online. You just don't know, you don't know, you can't feel and see the quality, you don't know the sizing and you know, that's why, that's why I like to do these and I like to order and show you what works for me and what doesn't. So maybe that's helpful for you when you are browsing and shopping different sites as well. I'll start this video by showing the few pieces that worked and that I really, really am excited to wear. And then we'll move into the pieces that I will be sending back and I'll give you my reasons why. So I love this dress from the color and the style and the fit. This is a belted utility dress. I'm wearing a size US 8, if it's true to size. I just took it out of the package, so it is a little bit wrinkly. Starting with the top, I love that it has a collar. I think anything with a collar, it gives you the ability automatically to be able to dress up the piece. The buttons here in the front go all the way down the dress. They are tortoiseshell. It also has a belt here to cinch in your waist. The pockets. It has four pockets and they're all usable. Oftentimes on pieces like this, I think the pockets are faux. So the fact that these are uh, working and usable, I think that's really great. I have it paired with just some sandals here. It has a really nice silhouette to it. It's nice and soft, it feels broken in. It's not rigid and hard. I love that the collar does have structure. Here's the side of it. And the length on this dress also is really nice. It's not too short. If I put my arm down straight, there is a couple of inches. For me, that's important. I don't wanna wear anything that's too short. It's just not practical or feasible in my life and it's really not my style. All right, up next, this is a US size eight, if it's true to size. This is a ribbed mid-axi dress. This is in a really beautiful color, chocolate brown. Similar to the last dress, this also has a collar, which is what adds a little bit of fun and flair to this dress. The material on this is really nice and soft. It's very uh, stretchy. Like I said, the color is really beautiful. I love that it's mid-axi, so it hits right at kind of that mid-length. It's very form-fitting, but still very comfortable. You could easily, being this has a collar, you could easily, uh, throw on some sneakers with this, run some errands, keep it really, really casual. You can either also keep on some open toe sandals, keep it casual, or you could also dress it up a little bit and add some heeled sandals. That would be really, really cute. So this top is a really fun take on your everyday tee. I'm wearing a US size six, and this is in a charcoal gray color. I love the cap sleeves on both sides and the cool little detail up top here how it hugs your chest and then um, underneath, I don't know if you can tell, but down here and all the way down then, it's a really long shirt. It's all fitted. Also on the back here, I'll try and show, you can see the crinkle design and detail on the bottom there. Just adds a little uniqueness to the shirt. And then the side here also has that side detail. I just have this paired with some light denim, but you could obviously dress this up as well, especially with the cap sleeves. I think that gives it a little bit more of a formal dressy vibe if you want it to be. Like I said, this shirt also, it's really long. It comes down to about here. So it's kind of like a bodysuit because it's nice and fitted, but without having to deal with the clasp and everything of the bodysuit. So that's really nice. This is great for tucking in. You could tuck this in with denim. You could tuck it in with joggers. Like I said, dress it up, wear it with some nice uh, black slacks and some heels, or keep it really casual. I wear lots of t-shirts every day. This is a fun take, especially in the summer. It's kind of, it gives you that t-shirt vibe, but then the sleeves, it's kind of like a tank. So switching gears a little bit, I wanted to also include this swimsuit and this swimsuit cover-up that I also picked up and really liked. Starting with the cover-up, I guess. This is a US size six. And this is just a really lightweight. I think this technically is called like a shirt t-shirt dress. It also comes with a white slip underneath that you can wear. So you truly could wear it as a dress, but I intentionally bought it for kind of just a cover up. 
I don't know if you can tell, but the material on here, it's kind of this cute crinkle material, super lightweight and just super flowy, super stretchy. It's not itchy at all. It's nice and just breathable. I really like this. I think it's really cute. The length on it is great. The sleeves are a little bit long, but I like that they're flowy. And I'm 5'7", it hits down below my, almost to my knees. So I think that's a great length for a cover up. Moving on to the swimsuit. This is a crinkle bikini. It is a, a square neckline up top here. And then in the back, it just has a little clasp. It's also a square neckline in the back. And then these bottoms, they're high waisted. I love this band here. It just, it's very, very comfortable. They're high leg and they're pretty cheeky in the back as well. The crinkle material is so comfortable. It gives a nice texture while also kind of, I feel like it kind of masks a little bit. Uh, like bumps and stuff. I don't know. It's just like, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about, but I got a size six in the top here. I'm a right now a 34 C and then I got a US size 10 in the bottom. I don't like my bottoms too tight, but the color, this is like a rust color. I think it's so beautiful. This hat is from Nasty Gal. I also have another one I can show from Amazon that I really like. Uh, I like hats that aren't too floppy and then give nice coverage for the sun. The whole swimsuit is super comfortable. I wasn't sure, I've never ordered a swimsuit from Misguided before, but I'm very, very impressed with the quality, the crinkle texture here. I know it's kind of a trendy uh, suit for the season. I didn't want to spend a buttload on it being, this is my first swimsuit post baby and my sizing will continue to change, I think, a little bit. So for next season, who knows? But I didn't want to go spend $100 on a suit for this season. So this is a great option if you're looking for suits or specifically this crinkle type of suit, this trendy type of suit. They have a million different styles and designs. So definitely check them out for a really great price. I quickly just wanted to pop on this hat. This is from Amazon. It's a little bit lighter in color, as you can tell, and the brim and the hat itself is a little bit smaller, a little bit different detail in the top here, but I also really like this one. This is nice for kind of a more everyday, it's not quite so big, but it's a really nice option and really good quality. So here it is actually with the slip underneath, and then I just put a brown belt around my waist to give it a little bit of shape. This is so cute, I think and it's really comfortable as well. So I'm pleasantly surprised that I can wear this actually for an outfit as well and not just a beach cover up. So definitely can get your money's worth. Before I change clothes, I did wanna mention and talk about quickly the slip underneath. It does an excellent job of covering you up and making sure that in the areas that you don't want the shirt to be sheer, it isn't sheer. So as you can see, the whole dress is just, I feel very, very uh, protected and covered and uh, good in this. And the slip underneath also, it's so comfortable. So this whole outfit, super comfy, very lightweight, great for the summertime. You want a cute little white dress. All right, so now I will be moving into the pieces that unfortunately did not work for me or I did not like and I will be sending back. The very first piece that unfortunately I will be sending back it is this florally, florally, floral red dress. This was the first piece that I tried on and I was so excited to wear it. It just didn't fit well. So the straps, it's a cowl neck and the cowl neck, no matter how tight I tied the straps, it just, it didn't fit me right. I know you could tape it, but for me it was uncomfortable. Another negative is the material. It's not stretchy at all. It's, I think, a polyester, so there's no stretch. Whenever I tried to move, there was absolutely no stretch, so it wasn't comfortable. Sitting, moving, it just wasn't realistic. If you want my honest opinion, I think it's one of those pieces that you could put on and you can make it look really good for a picture, but 
being functional and practical and comfortable and worth the money in real life, uh, this is a pass for me. <laughs> Another dress that unfortunately will be going back is this restyled, uh, really beautiful color mid axi dress. I thought this for sure was going to work for me and I love this style of dress. I love this color. It's beautiful, the cut, and I like the little detailing on the front and on the back of it, but the sides of the dress, like under my arms, for some reason, it just, the cut doesn't fit me. It digs into my armpits. Just solely based off that reason, unfortunately, I'm sending this back because just the few minutes that I did have it on, it was very uncomfortable. This is a halter top and I'll be honest, I didn't even try it on. I saw it and I saw how small it was, uh, how little coverage it gave. I'm sure it would look fine on, but I kind of changed my mind and this also will be going back. So I'm not quite sure what I was thinking, but I did order a couple of kind of fancier dresses. I don't know why, because I have no plans of going anywhere kind of fancy or dressy but this is a ruched, really pretty emerald green ruched midaxi dress. Although the material is really, really thick and it seems really stretchy, I couldn't get this one on. So I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> what's going on there, but I guess if you're interested in ordering it, size up one or two. It does seem very comfortable and the uh, quality of the material seems really good but for some reason I ordered my normal size and I could not get it on at all. This ruched one shoulder dress is the other dress that I ordered. I'm not quite sure why. This one I could get on. Luckily it was very comfortable. I thought it was also very flattering, but again, I don't know why I ordered it. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> so this one also will be going back, but I guess it's helpful if you are interested in ordering this dress. I think it's true to size. It fits well, it's flattering. I like the ruching and it's very comfortable. Delving into swimsuits a little bit, I did show the two-piece swimsuit that I really liked that I will be keeping, but I also ordered two one-piece crinkle swimsuits, a white one and a black one. I originally thought I would keep these versus the two-piece, but these actually will be going back. I ordered a US 8 in these. I think I should have ordered a US 10 because I think that would have fit better lengthwise. This one felt a little small. The style of the suit, super, super cute. It's kind of that old school vintage one piece with the low cut back. It does have a cheeky bottom and high a high leg which I like. The crinkle material is good. It feels good quality. If you are interested in a one-piece crinkle suit, give these a try. I would highly recommend them still. Really good quality. I just, I think I ordered the wrong size, so the fit just wasn't there for me. Next up, I ordered this square neck tank. It's kind of like a corset fit. I don't have anything like it. I was very excited to get it. And once I put it on, I actually, initially, I really liked it. However, once I had it on a little bit longer, I realized the length of it. So it's not long enough to tuck in, to keep in, keep tucked into your pants without coming out. But it also, for me and what's comfortable, it's a little bit too long to have untucked. And for me, it just looks, in my opinion, it looks a little bit weird and awkward. Lastly, I have one more floral summer dress. This one I was so close to keeping, but I think I ordered, I need one, I need a size smaller. This dress though, so, so comfortable. I don't know if you can see, but it's really stretchy. It's kind of a crinkle material. It's lightweight, comfortable. I loved the neckline. I loved the tie shoulders and the little ruffle at the bottom. But like I said, this one was a little bit too big. So unfortunately, this one was a no as well. All right, that was everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I will have everything linked down below. Give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe and I will see you guys next time.